Hi, this is uh, Living Free, and uh, I'm going to show you how to make an EMP uh, out of a trash can. Uh, this is uh, pretty much uh, what's standardly thought of out there. Uh, I am not a professional with EMP. I only play one on YouTube. So here's my best shot at it. Yeah, this is the can to make the EMP. Did one earlier, and I thought this tape was, uh, was good but I put a uh, ohm meter to it and it had zero. It was pretty much no conductivity <laughs> to it whatsoever. I did find, however, on this uh, metal tape, which is uh, made of gold, and uh, it, it only costs about $300 a roll, but I, I think it's real well worth it. Uh, but uh, it's, it's so shiny, it'll never, I'm kidding. It's a, a copper aluminum based conductivity <laughs> uh, tape that came in a roll like this where you could peel it off and it's sticky on one side. Works real good, feels like aluminum, like you're putting aluminum foil but it sticks on it. That works uh, pretty good for this. And when I put the ohm meter to it, it was 100% both sides. So this is definitely going to work better for the EMP. Uh, can and uh, I line it with cardboard which I take and I bend it over the edges to kind of give it a circularness so it'll end up kind of like this along with a bubble I go ahead and put bubble wrap on it uh, just to kind of dampen things and further separate it out and to make it a little bit better but you got to uh, Bend this cardboard over a surface to get that circular, to get it to bend and make the circular. I just use a uh, uh, my uh, workhorse here. It's a 31 gallon galvanized trash can. Now you want to make sure it's got a, a magnetic property, so you want to stick a magnet to it. That proves that it'll work as a ferret cage. You also want to tape the inside of your hood. Your uh, thing. I'm not going to tape the outside just because I think if I double tape in here, I should be fine. Uh, but anyway, that way, pretty much everything's going to be sealed up. Now, they make gaskets you can put on the inside rim of these things. But those things are outrageously priced, and they're sold out of them all right now, considering the. Uh, current prices and what we're up, up against but again I'll end up putting cardboard in it on the bottom and doing it like that try and put the lid on it and we can go from there all in all uh, I measured the uh, how much I did it's about 25 feet we'll do one 31 gallon trash can and like I was saying uh, it needs to be metal these cans need to be metal. You can test it with a, I've got a rare earth, earth magnet in this thing. I, it's wrapped in a sock because it's so powerful a little stick and I won't be able to get it off. But definitely magnetic. So they need to be magnetic or it doesn't work. Same thing with the lid, fix the lid. So these should work pretty good. Keep in mind when you're doing your, put your cardboard in, it's wider on the top than it is bottom. So when you put the cardboard in, you're gonna have to fan, the, fan it out some to make it wider, then hit the ground, and then tape it there. <laughs> and of course some people, I guess myself included, you can wrap your boxes, these are ham radios, one of them is a repeater ham radio. You can wrap the boxes. I just put them brand new, wrap them in aluminum foil, and put them inside these cages too, and that's a little added protection. Nice that looks. Finished cardboard. Now you can probably end there if you wanted to. Or I got bubble wrap, wrap I'll put on mine too. And here's the lid. Uh, I finally finished it too. 
along with the cat that's complaining, I'm taking up her space. And pretty much done. When you do the lid, make sure you leave some gap on the edge so that two metal pieces connect and you get a full connection. Ultimately, what you want to do is tape this seam here too with the same tape and that would make a pretty good tight seal. Thanks for joining me with this. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Learned a little bit about an EMP case made out of a trash can. It's not too difficult. really doesn't cost a whole lot and it may save some of your electronics. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot. And for all my subscribers, both of them, and uh, I hope you all have a good one.